Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is Soul 12 today, I believe. Could be 11, I think it's 12, we're losing track. But it's been almost two weeks, and uh, we're, we're, almost, uh, we're almost there. We've got a few things we need to do, uh, and the first of which today we're going to do is sort these solar panels out. So, we've got the sun, we can see the sun. We're just going to focus on the sun for a moment, and we're going to place our crosshairs right in the middle. And what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the sun to move so we can see which direction it's moving in. Obviously, it's going to keep rotating and keep doing its movements. We just need to make sure that we can see it and that we know what direction it's moving in. And it looks like it's currently moving down and to the right slightly. Down and to the right slightly. So, yep, we can see that clearly now. So we need to know that it's coming from this direction, from behind the Earth. And it's heading down here, which means it's going to come through this asteroid. That's not really ideal, so I'm going to move out a little bit, so I'm past this asteroid. And now I should be able to clear this. So just looking at where our base is. Um, give me a sec, I've just misplaced it. There it is. Uh, just rotating myself so I'm the right way up. Okay, and then finding this. And again, just going to see which direction it's moving in. We can see right now it's kind of moving in this downward direction. So we're clear of it here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to build out from there where I was. I'm going to build out to the side here. So I can catch this sun. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm just going to grab some steel plates. Nice and easy. And we're just going to start heading out here. So uh, we can do that from here. We're going to need quite a few, uh, quite a few of these. But that's all good. Just making sure they're all connected. That is the main thing here. Okay, just a few more. All right, that pretty much covers it. We'll do just a couple more. I think I'll do like three more just to be sure. Okay, so now that we've got this, we want to build on the end here a solar panel. And so the way that we're going to do that, uh, very simply, we're going to put on here a rotor. Now, it doesn't have to be an advanced rotor. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. It can just be a normal rotor. So we'll just get rid of the other stuff we don't need. So we're going to need a rotor. We're going to need a hinge. Just a normal hinge. Uh, we're going to need our solar panels. Uh, we'll just go for some normal blocks as well. And we're going to want a custom turret controller. That should be pretty much everything that we need here. We're going to start with a rotor on top of the rotor. We'll be able to build out a few blocks. So what we'll do here is have a look at how high this solar panel is going to be. Now if we were to put this out this way, we can see it would be a few different panels. So what we're going to do here is go up, let's just say, one, two, three, four. Five. Oh, missed one there. We'll just go and get rid of that. Okay, so that's going to be five on top of the rotor. On top of the rotor. So what we're now going to do is we're going to attach. We go two here. One on this side. Or we'll do one on this side. Perfect. And we can see here that this would be like the middle block here. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this middle block here as it is. Because we've got this kind of rotor and this beam coming up here. We're going to put a hinge on. And so the way we're going to do this, we're going to put it on just here like so. We want to make sure that we clear this. So it needs to be up this high. 
And then what we can do is we can put a hinge just down here. And that hinge is going to allow, once we've built this, now all we're going to do is just weld this up. And once we've done that, we'll be able to put these on here like this. So, this would then two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay. So now I can come and delete these to this side. And what we're going to have is this will be able to spin around. This will then spin on a hinge. And if I've done this correctly, I believe I have. That will then, let me just double check this. I want to make sure I've done this right. Um, let me just look into this, make sure I have. Thinking about, okay, so. I've got the rotor. I've built up a few blocks here. I don't think I need to go up that many. Let me just see. Energy critical. Hmm. I need to go back and get some energy. Let me go and do that real quick while I just think about what I'm doing here. Okay. All right, let's think about this. So, mm -mm -mm. ah, no, I know what I've done wrong. I know what I did wrong. So that can rotate. And then this will be able to hinge. So that needs to be one, two, and then three, four, and five. That's better. That's better. That's better. Okay. So then the way I want this to work is... Uh, that way. All right, so we're going to have two here. So this is going to be one. Get this one on. Two. With a gap to hinge. And on the other side, flip it around like so. And we'll have three and four. There we go. That works. So what we're going to have now is the ability, and in fact, I don't even need all these. Could have got away with just having a three of these blocks. That still works. Because what we're going to have now is the ability for this to go and hinge, but also to rotate. And that should track and follow the sun. Uh, where's the base? Perfect. I don't think I needed it to be out that far, but yeah, we know it's going to come down past here. So at least with this. I can always get rid of that if I need to. Oh, 
kind of don't feel like I needed it to be out that far. I feel like maybe that was enough. Hmm. Let's cut that there. And there. And the question is, can I push this back? Because that would be pretty awesome if I could. Or is it going to be too heavy? Oh, it's going to be too heavy. Okay. Well, let's go and uh, attach it to here instead. So we're going to have this. What we're going to do is just rebuild what we just did. Now, because we've got it going that way... All we want to do is make sure that if we were to... If it was to come down from the hinge, the hinge would come down to there and that would come down to the road to there. So, yeah, five, five seems good. So we're going to come out five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to put the hinge on. Doesn't matter which way the hinge goes. Then we're going to go three, which is going to be like one two three then we're going to go for these solar panels which is going to be one Maybe I should go out two just to be sure. The problem I've got, and this is what I've got to avoid, is as we don't want this to rotate into this. We need to lock this hinge off. Like the whole thing can rotate, but this should only be able to. Yeah, that works. We're going to want to go. Like that. But we're going to want to go there and there. Not the way I did it. And then we're going to want to go... Mm -mm -mm. Spin it around. There and there. Perfect. And yeah, we don't need that one. And we don't need that one. And we don't need... Any of this. Perfect. That looks so much better. Okay, so that's how it's going to look. Now we need to do is just get it built. So the only thing I really need to do at the moment is build out the um, the hinge, the rotor. So cancel that out. That's going to be part one. And part two, and then part three, and we'll say that's going to be part four. All right. Let's just come back here. Uh, I'm going to go into this ship because 
I need some O2. That's just going to instantly sort me out. All right, let's head down and see if we can uh, finish this off. And this part as well. All right, the hinge is done. We just need to do the rotor. Okay, rotor's done. Last thing that we need is a camera. And that camera can sit in the middle here. Like so. Perfect. All right, so. We now need to take these down. Didn't take a little while to do this, but we'll just get it done. Finish off this one. Also take down this one. We'll see if we can build it out here. one up. Now that will be working now. This will make the second one work. Which is ideal because we need this. And then once this is done, you just finished with the other two that we need to build. And we should... be able to automate this so that it just does its job and we don't have to touch it anymore. And the way that we're going to do that is with... And I guess we can kind of put this anywhere we want. doesn't really matter. I'm tempted to put it just like here. But I need an interior plate for this. I could also put it on the base. Like I don't actually have to go out there. The other thing I could do is I could just put it down here. Just grab an interior. There we go. That actually worked as well. I could put it just there. Right. 20 detector comps, that is going to take a lot. Let's just go and uh, get rid of everything else. We're just going to make these. That's going to take a lot of nickel and a lot of iron, actually. We don't actually have either of those. So we are going to have to go out and get some more bits. Oh, maybe not. We've got. Have we got enough nickel, though? Oh, we have enough. We're good. But a lot of detector comps here. And as long as it's on the same grid, it should work. There's no sun at the moment, so... Just going to wait for this. We've got the battery here. Battery's almost full. Battery's cool where it is for now. We're going to move the survival unit in a bit. Not now, but a little bit later we will. Energy low. There we go. Let's get our energy up. And then we're going to finish this off.
Right now we just need three more computers. And that should be it. Right, we'll just finish it off, get it to 100. Oh, and actually, we've built it the wrong way. <laughs> oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. We can we can change it later. I'll put it around the wrong way, but I can change that. Um, effectively, what I want is this. So, what we're going to do is... <clears throat> We want, let's just have a look in here. Okay, so elevation is going to be our hinge. This is going to be our rotor. Camera is going to be the camera. So that's camera, hinge and rotor that we've got set up. Doesn't need to be rotor too, that can just be rotor. So we'll call this... Um, Solar. So we've got solar rotor. Solar. Solar hinge. And solar turret controller. As well as, obviously... Perfect. I know some of these are incomplete, but that's going to be the whole solar system, solar parts up. Okay, so now the turret controller, which has the rotor, the hinge, and the camera set up. And then what we're going to say is always aim at sun. And that should, once the sun's up, work. But in order for that to happen, we have to finish building this out. So the rotor's done. I want to build out the rotor part. And also, I need to do the hinge. I haven't done the hinge. I just did the hinge part. So let me get rid of that and grab that. I don't think we need the rotor part, but I'll grab it anyway, just so it's there. But it's the hinge that I want. Okay. All right, let's... Um Try this again. We're going to so want this part. This is going to give me all the bits we need. Just a few construction components now. I already says I've got everything I need. The hinge. No, I definitely still need. Hmm. Okay. Definitely still seem to be missing some bits. That's better. Now we've got enough. Hey, now that should be looking at the sun. Perfect. And they are they're getting a hundred percent because they are looking directly at the sun. And this should be working. That's cool. <laughs> so that can rotate around that whole thing. Nice.
Now we're just going to finish these two off. So we've got all four done. We've got one there, one there. Let's just head back down here. All right, not far off. Now oh, we've got enough energy to finish this off. That's good. You definitely need those construction components. Uh, where's the base con? There it is. Which is just making for us now. And also now we're getting 100% on these. Let's have a look at how those two that we've got are working. Trying to find the solar panels. There we go. 159 and 159. So nice. So 300 between them. It's good. Which means all four will give us 600, and that will cover anything we need on the base. Any individual items that we need. I need to move that turret controller, I'll do that in a bit. Because that was just stupid me. Another one done there. This is still going to need some more solar cells. 16 solar cells, we're almost there. It says I can't withdraw them because I don't have enough nickel. So we have to go and find some nickel and then we can finish that last one. Uh, I am going to move that <clears throat> controller because I put that around the wrong way. Okay, if I just drop that off, grab that, and I'll try and rotate it this time, so I'm not being stupid. Get rid of that, check this out. Perfect. And because I've just rebuilt this, I'm going to have to do this again. So we'll call this solar Tar targeting. All right. <clears throat> Elevation is going to be the hinge. This will be the rotor. Sign camera will be the solar camera. Always in the sun. Done. Now that is... As you can see, it's still able to see the sun from here. It is going to soon go behind here. So I could always just kind of take off this part of the asteroid. And if I did that, just took off that part of the asteroid alone and nothing else. I think I'd be able to see it. All right. We're making progress. So we've definitely sorted out as much of that as we can now. We need to go and get some nickel. And that kind of brings me on to the next space of where we are now. Um, I want to take out this. The survival kit's going to be moved. Uh, let me just type in survival. Put that down here. Perfect. Mm. Uh, it's kind of going to sit just on the edge here. We 
just world in what we can and we'll go and get the rest of it. There's only a couple of bits here we need, which is those. That's now here, which is good. Battery can stay there for now. We got our landing pad. Excellent. Feels good, like we're making progress. Now I want to make another battery because I want to have two of them. I just need a steel plate for that. Amazing. And what we'll do is we'll make up. It's going to be like 40 of those, isn't it? We haven't got any at the moment, so we'll just go for 40 power cells. Again, we're getting nickel for that, which we don't have at the moment, so we need to go and find it. All right, we'll keep this battery for now. We'll move it later, and then this will be our landing pad. And we've got everything we need, our little base. All right, so now that we're kind of done at this point, and there's not really much else we can do here at the moment, uh, we do want to kind of create these little landing pads, though. And so, the best way I see to do this is going to be, we're going to do an armored conveyor. That's going to be a T-junction. Get rid of everything else we don't need now. Oh, we went back to the start weapons because I died. Um, and the reason I died is because I was AFK. <laughs> and I didn't. Turn the game off. All right. Oh, there's small. We don't want. No, we want reinforced. We don't want small ones. So we want that, that, and that. And then that means we're going to want to get rid of this one. Okay. And we're going to want to put a T junction in there instead. Energy low. All right. We want. Hold on. Ooh. That's it. That'll go that way, that way, and up. Nope. Not bad. That's it from that way. So we want to go... That way. Like so. We don't even need the rest of these, but I'll do them anyway. So we've got one there, and one there. Ooh. That's it. No. That's it. We just want to be able to walk on here. That's perfect. All right. So number seven, we just want a straight line. Trying to figure out where we're going in here. Spin that to there for so. And also like this, but that's not going to connect to there. Because this one's going to need to become a T-junction. So we'll take this out. Mm-hmm. We'll do that. T-junction here. And that's going to be like that. Perfect. And that's going to give us our two pads. So we're going to have a pad here that we can land on and a pad here that we can land on. Perfect. That'll do for now. That's actually a little bit... Mm, 
you know what? Actually, that's going to go that way. Like that. And this one. Is going to go that way like that. Perfect. Now we do need to connect this. Let me just uh, do that and that and that. Need the construction components. Oh, they're in the cargo, which is down there. So I need to go down here. Because that's not yet connected. Wait, hold on. Hmm. Must have left some construction components behind. So that's not right. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go and uh, just get some space rock. Because if I do that, it's going to give me everything I need. We talked about taking some of this from here on the edge. I'm actually just going to go and do that right now. Just to give me some stones so I can get some of the uh, nickel that I need for now. Hardly making a dent to this asteroid, it's huge. All right, let's head back. Um, okay. For some reason, and I don't know why. Ah, that's why. I was about to say, for some reason, I don't know why. I just uh, lost the ability to be able to use my ship. But it's because I had stockpile turned on. Forgot to turn it off. And I was just using up the ice that I had left over. All right, and we're down. So now we can connect. Stop pole can go back on. Those can go off. That will start the process of finishing off that for me. And I should be able to make the rest of my construction components and pretty much everything else that I need. Need two steel tubes, which I don't have. We'll just make a N and M. Nope, oh, they're done. We'll make. Excellent. So that's now done, which means that's all connected back up again. Now I just need to connect up these three. 
And then I can put my two connectors and I can remove them from there and I've got both my ships connected up. That's the plan. Alright, so we've got one, two, and three. Tell it what we needed to build. Alright. Kind of also want to build that. I'll do the rest of them later, but that'll do for now. Do the bits I can do there. Have the solar cells, and then I can head down to do this one. Now, these are still getting sun, which is lovely. And now these are working as well. Just finish welding these up to 100%. Excellent. Now we've got our solar panels. So... Just to recap how we did this, we have a hinge here. Now the hinge is working, but the hinge part's not. But we don't really need the hinge part, so we're not too worried about it. Because the hinge part is only for if you're moving stuff through it. We're not. So the hinge part... Doesn't matter. Or does it? Huh. Maybe the hinge part does. Hmm. So hold on, if I go back to the hinge. Huh. Let's, uh, let's load that back up. That was a mistake. I thought the, I thought the hinge part was only so that material could travel through it. Turns out I am wrong. It is not. Okay. Let's uh, grab these bits out again. All right, back to where it was. Oh, also we wanted these. All right. So we finished this one off. Get this one to 100%. What did it matters? If we're gonna do a job, do it properly. Last one here. And then this, which, again, doesn't matter that much, but we'll do it anyway. The hinge is good. Okay, so that worked. Now I do kind of want to do that, that and that, which is... Just a few steel plates. We have enough of those. Just looks a lot better. All right. So that's now complete. And looking directly at the sun. It'll rotate round as needed. It'll hinge as needed. Now the only thing we've got to be careful of is that we don't break it. That this hinge is only going to have a certain amount of play in it. And we need to be very careful we don't 
overdo the hinge. For us to know exactly what that is, we need to be here. And press OK. All right, and then we can see the upper and lower limit. If we were to say that was going to be plus and minus 45. Kind of wouldn't go any more than that. Um, don't know if we can do it from here. No, we can't. So if we come back down. I don't think we can connect that to here. It needs to be here. Maybe we say 70 is the upper limit. I think this is the minus limit. So let's go minus 90 and see what happens. Oh yeah, there we go. Look, you can see it now. Look, you see how it moves? So we want to make sure that it can go to minus 90. What is this? Alright, so that is minus 50 at the moment. Which... I would say we're almost there. I would say minus 50 is probably good. Maybe minus 60. We don't want to go too much further though. Maybe 90 would be good, because then it would be at a right angle. That would work. All right, so yeah. So I think 90 either way. But what we don't want to do is have it going any further. Current angle is at minus... Oh, there we go. Minus 47. And there we go, it follows the sun. Happy days. I think we could probably do this part as well. What we don't want to do is we don't want this to break. That's the key. get those printed up and then just thinking about what else we could possibly need I think we've got everything now I think we're good nice yeah that works We'll also do this one, this one, and this one. We'll get that to go in. All right, I think we're pretty good at this stage in terms of just tidying up loose ends. We need to go and map out some asteroids. That is our new job, our new role. This can continue printing. There's no real point sitting here just watching it all. So we're going to wait. For it all to get finished. We 
which it should do because it says that I've got pretty much enough zip and I haven't got enough nickel. Everything else is just going to print out. We'll leave it to do its job. We need nickel, so let's go out in the ship and see what we can find. All right. Let's make sure we turn off that. Disconnect, turn off. Engine's on and away we go. All right. We've got everything we need. You'll find some asteroids. There's some over here. We're going to go and look at these. Turn off the space brakes and that way we can just coast straight towards it. Now we're fully empty, which is nice. If it dies. So keeping on the um, keep an eye on the gravity for the planet. We've got one here. We we'll check this one out while we're here. Quite some distance. We'll do this one here, we'll do that one there, then we'll go and do that cluster that's over there. see all the different planets we can go and view them as well this one's huge one there as well military mine layer okay pretty cool actually do you know what we're really close to these ones let's go do these ones because we're almost here EMPR, they seem to be friendly. We're not using up much hydrogen, which is really nice. We just kind of set a boost and then just leave it. And we're just coasting. Got 98% hydrogen left. We have no space brakes on at the moment, though. We'll give it a turn those on in a second. We'll have a look at these clusters, see what we can find. Hopefully, we'll get some platinum and some uranium. But if not, just some nickel. Three days of battery left. All right. Turn on those space brakes. There's a huge asteroid over there. We'll head to this one first. So first of all, we're looking if we can see anything like that. There's a patch right there. We're going to head over and see what that patch is. Should tell us as we get a bit closer. It's just ice, which is nice to know. So again, we're going to mark this up as ice. So this will be... Space. Nice. Oh. We don't really need any ice at the moment. I'm just going to take this little bit here. Oh. 
cool. I don't think there's anything else in here. I'll look around the outside. Sometimes you might get lucky. In this case, I think it's just ice. Um, oh, there we go. And check these little ones out over here. And can't see anything on the surface of this one. Could be something here. Always good to check. Oh, here we go. Some cobalt. I don't need any of that, but it's good to know it's there. A bit more there. And just checking to see if there's anything else. There's ice there, we know there's cobalt there. Anything on this side? Very dark. Not really seeing much there. Nothing really on that side. So check this one out over here. Quite a big one. Nothing I can see on that side, though. Sometimes it might be hidden and you might not see it on the surface level. Always good to have a quick look, in case. We got a little bit over here just tucked away. We will mark it up because then it shows that we've been here. Interesting. I thought it would have been. I thought it would have been something else here, you know? Base cave. We really need to put some lights on this ship. More over here. A little bit more ice. We'll just mark this up. And we're going to take some as well. Not much, but we're at 78%, so it doesn't hurt. 
We don't really want to be taking all the ice that's on our doorstep. We want to be keeping that for emergencies when we need it. Perfect. Checking out this big one here. Oh, there's a bit more ice there. That's good to know. Not a patch there. Mark it up. Even though we've got it, we just don't think we can ever have enough ice. Okay. I mean, we've mapped out what I believe to be a lot of that area. Oh, we haven't done that bit over there. Look, there's one over there. I can see it already. It looks like cobalt from here. We'll go and check it out. There's also a bit there as well, that looks like ice. We should get close enough to mark it. This one we saw over here, we're going to do that. I tend not to aim directly at it, I am just off in case I make a mistake. Well, that looks like cobalt, but it's also a bit bright. But I think that's cobalt. Yep. Perfect. All right, we'll just, uh, I always tend to go through these just in case it picks up something else. Sometimes it's not always on the surface. This just looks like it's a huge cobalt rock. Just this huge big one here now. I'm going to do this little one first. Done that, done that one. Oh, I saw something on the left over there. I'm going to go and check that out now. I just got a glimpse of it around here. Hmm, maybe I was wrong. I thought it was like here, maybe I was wrong. Wow, I can't believe there's literally nothing here. It's quite crazy. Nothing in there. I 
All right, well, we had a look. <laughs> the huge rock with absolutely nothing on it. Crazy. Can't believe that. All right, we'll move on to the next cluster. Do we just want to check out this one down here? Oh, there is something there. Oh, that'll be the cobalt that's on this side. I think that's cobalt on both sides. Yep. Good to know. Alright, so the big space rock has nothing that I know of. Maybe there's something in the middle and we have to bury our way in to find it. Who knows? Grab some more ice because we're only at 52% now. Do have some though. Oh no, we've got 20k ice, we're fine. Alright. Done with those. What's next? Let's look around. Next cluster. Huh. I think we head to this one up here. I think also one of the process of doing that, we'll look at this. This is always visible. We always want to know where our space base is. Another cluster to the left there. We'll do this one that's right in front of us first. We're going to go straight past our base. We'll go to this cluster in front, and then we'll head up to that cluster to the left. And I think that will that will be it for our exploration. Now this could be inside the gravity well, so I want to be careful. If I see us going into gravity, I'll uh, I'll pull us up. I don't want to be wasting fuel and slowly crashing back down to Earth and not paying attention. Especially in this ship, because I won't be able to get back out of the atmosphere again. We seem to be good. I'm just going to offset it slightly. I'm not aiming directly at it. Put the brakes on. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Can't see anything on it. Not seeing anything on the surface. Take a look on the other side. No, we're starting to hit that gravity now, look.
We'll have a quick look at this, but we are going to leave. Point zero five gravity, so we're going to head away from that. There we go, we're back out again. Alright, let's have a look around. We've checked out that cluster. There's a little cluster over here. We can go and check that one out. We can just turn everything off now, we're just coasting. We've got enough ice to go into there. We just jetted out that stone that we didn't want. Again, platinum and uranium is what we're after. See what we can find. Nickel. We'll take nickel if we can find it. Silicon if we can find it. Gold and silver if we can find it. I feel like it takes us longer to get between asteroids here, but... There's not really much we can do about that until we get a jump drive. Alright, turns back on. I will start on the outermost one on the left and work our way in. I see quite a lot of stuff up there on the right there. Looks like cobalt again maybe. Really seeing much on these. Oh, something up there on the right one. Could be iron. We'll see. Alright, just checking out these little ones here. Quick, quick little save as well. Okay, what's that there? Might be nothing. Oh, we've got iron on here. Is there anything else? Silicon. Very nice. Hmm. Oh, silicon's on there. There we go. Perfect. We need a little bit of silicon, so we'll mark that one up. We'll grab a little bit of this. Not too much, but just a little bit. Perfect. Uh, we saw iron over here somewhere, so we're going to go back and see if we can find it again.
Hmm. Not too sure what that iron is, to be honest. I only saw the marker for it, but I didn't follow it. Hmm. Okay, well, can't seem to find it now, but that's fine. Head over to this bigger one. Oh, there's the iron, look. I think it was underneath here. Pretty sure the iron is going to be around here somewhere. Yeah. Don't really need this, but I will mark it up. Check that these, but we'll go and have a look again. Um, head this way to these big ones. Do this little one first. I uh, need to get some more of this ice in. We're not actually... The problem is we're not doing it quick enough. Alright, let's check this out. We'll head back after these. It's a good little run. We found some new materials that we need. Hmm. Okay. Not much luck here. Okay. I'll try this one out. Kind of a slow process this. Not really much else we can do at the moment though. I've got some more iron here. We'll mark this. Not that we need it, but we'll mark it anyway. Just to show that we've been here. Alright. Is there anything else on here?
Hmm. Hard to know where to go now, to be honest. More silicon there. And some iron. Okay, silicon and iron. Don't know. Don't find a nickel. A military escort there. Right, we check out this rock, and I think in a minute. We're pretty much going to be done because we're going to run out of hydrogen. We, we've got enough ice. We can just not converting it quick enough. Kind of makes me feel like on a ship like this, we're going to need two of them, two converters. Right, we're going to stop for a sec because what we don't want to do is screw ourselves. Yeah, that generator just not going quick enough for us. Good opportunity for us to head back. I'm going to find anything else here. We're going to check out that unknown signal, and we'll head back. Go past these, just more silicon there. Let's see what the signal is. Oh, we can hear it. Uh 
right. Let's have a look at what we got. Any content? A uh, leopard suit. Okay, anything else in here? Some space credit and a plushie. We'll take it. Got enough to put a light on a ship now. Ah, oh, we should probably have. Two of these on here. There we go. That one's got silicon on it. Gonna have a look at this one, shall we? We've got enough ice for now. We can go and land on here. I can let the ship do its thing. I can just go and have a little float around. Do I find anything? Good lessons though that the fact that this ship is uh, not really long range, I would say. It's good enough to get out, do a mining run and get back. It's not really good for going exploring. Okay, I don't think there's anything on this rock. Oh, there's some iron. Oh, we can use that. Again, just to say that we've marked it. Alright, let's kind of head back. Oh, two on here, possibly three. Is this iron? We're at 1%, so I want to be careful. It's got a glow to it. I don't run out of power and then just fly into the base. Yeah, that is iron, okay. Silicon and then some more iron. Yep, and right now we're going to stop here. Turn our engines off and we're just going to chill for a minute. This is what we need. We just don't have enough. We need more. We need two generators going. One's just not enough. All 
Right, so what I'm going to do, just flip this around. Start aiming back towards our space base. Oh, we've got the stockpile on. I just want to float past this. Alright, start heading home. And then we'll wait until we get a bit closer. We'll put the stockpile back on. See if we can get some more of that hydrogen stored up. Now we're heading in the general direction at 100 meters a second. We can just chill. And when we get close enough, we just turn it onto land. Alright, so we've done a bit of mapping. There's still a lot more to do. But we did a bit. We can go and find different asteroid clumps and again still need to find some nickel. Still need to find some platinum. Still need to find some uranium. Okay, I'm just going to quickly adjust the course. Back off again. All right, that's enough to bring us back in. And I'll engage one more time, just to slow us down. All right, let's go to land. Let me see where our panels are, see where our bases. Grab some more ice as we're going past it anyway. Oh wow. Um, why are the lights not on here? So, control panel, 
lights. Turn the radius off. There we go. Intensity up. That's a little bit too much. I think we can probably turn it down a little bit. There we go. A lot of stone. I had no idea the ice was that close to the base. Literally just inside that cave there. Interesting. All right, let's turn those on and those on. Recharge that. And now you can see the hydrogen just filling up so quickly now from that tank. And we could effectively just go back out again. We'll get the batteries charged, we'll get everything else done. We'll turn those off. And then we're pretty much good to go. Let's just see if we can finish these off. That is looking good. Although, mm, kind of feel like maybe it's a bit too close, you know? Like maybe that's wrong. Kind of feel like maybe I should have... Uh, Carried this on a little bit, maybe so like that, and then this one maybe like that. And then maybe this one.
the same. And this one on the end could be the T-junction. Like so. Hmm. Okay. Or four there. Should be easy enough to do. This just feels a lot better in terms of how the layout's going to be because we're going to have some much bigger ships. I'm going to need to be able to dock those really big ships. Okay. Quite like this little walkway we've got as well. Okay, so construction panels. Alright, just still that nickel that we're waiting on. I can just go and get some stone, it'll be so much easier. Can it not make any more? Okay, it did it run out. Need one more? Okay. Just still tubes now. Alright, see if that's enough. Two more steel tubes. Very close. I kind of have them. Alright. So, connectors... Steel plate. Wow, a lot of steel plates. Just a couple more of them. Again, still going to run out of that nickel. Just need that for the um, battery at the moment, but... Once this is built, that ship can go on it. And I can build that one from that dock. Or more. How's this going? Okay. 
three bars on all of those. That's nice. See how the whole thing's rotated. That's pretty cool. That is now sitting at 90 degrees as well, which works. Yep, all works. I think just to be safe with this, I'm going to put the hinge at minus 88 and 88. That way it should just give it a tiny bit of a gap. Just so it's not quite sitting on it at 90 degrees. I don't know how that works. Because if this breaks, it might be alright. We'll see. All right, nice. Let's uh, jump in. Tanks are on. Batteries on, there we go. Connect and then. Everything off. Perfect. Easy. First ship is there. Now to bring the next one down. So for this one. I'll turn that off recharge. Turn that off. Put these on. Unlock. And then we are just going to come down. Alright, let's try that. Perfect. That'd be exactly the amount we need to do this. All right, let's get this uh, ship on. Beautiful. Keep that locked on. Keep that on charge. Alright, look at that. We've got our ships. Both ships now on their little ports. Sitting there chilling. Get the batteries done. That's all done. Okay. God, we need 80 power cells. I forgot about that. All right. 
kind of want to build out now, I would say, like a thousand of them. And I think that's pretty much it. We're in a good place for today. Build out some of this uh, foundation here, this, this platform. Got a little hangers now. They're looking good. Yeah, pretty solid. Got that. That all works. Sun's up. Battery's out. Let's just check. I mean, the engine is 100% full. It is pushing some out, but not a lot out. It's not pushing much out. It doesn't need to, because there's not a lot being pushed. The battery is fully charged. Store power is perfect. Inputs 2.13, outputs 1.7. Okay. So that's pretty perfect. Solar panels. One nineteen, one nineteen, one nineteen, and one nineteen. Good panel. One, two, three, and four. Nice. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Been a kind of a chill one today. We'll get the batteries finished off. We still need to go out and explore a little bit more. We're looking for some more resources. And then what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to work on some automations. We'll work on drone landings. So we'll be able to uh, AI land onto these, sorry. Uh, we'll look at... Also, there's quite a bit of ice out here, so I think we're all right for now. I mean, we've got enough energy. I think we can just, we can build this up into a... If we have a look at some of the blocks here. Let's go through some of these. Um, we don't need... I mean, there's weapons here. We can look at these in a bit. But that is probably we probably should look at defense. That's something we should start looking at. Getting some turrets out. Welder wall. We can look at getting a welder wall set up. If we do that, we'll be able to print ships. Um, I don't really need any weapons at the moment. Do want to get my tools finished. Don't need those. That's all part of a download block. Don't need those. Kind of been through all of this. Don't need those. We've done everything we need to do there. Download uh, download content. DLC, DLC, trust pillar, requires signal block DLC, yep, okay, don't need that, frostbite DLC, grid automation, okay, so sensors, timer block, sensor can be used to set up, uh, set up, set up to activate ship systems when they detect player ships or asteroids within a limited range, oh, so we could have a sensor, that mines asteroids within a limited range. Oh, programmable block. Runs a script to manage ship systems. Oh, scripts can be found in a workshop or written manually. Okay. Turret we've used, event controller we've used. This is what we're going to do next, which is... The AI recorder task. This can record a path of action sequence. The path can be relative to another grid. The references set the path and sequence. They can be replayed. Provided there is a move block available on a grid. Basic task. Follow a player. Follow and wander around home position. Or perform autopilot functions. 
This controls the movement of an AI-owned grid. Defensive combat and offensive combat. We've got remote controls. Mm -hmm. Broadcast controller transmits custom messages to players using the live chat window. Use the antenna to increase the range. Action relay. Cool. So that's some fun we can have. Industrial blocks. This is all an upgrade. Large blocks. Projector. We haven't had a projector in there yet. A button panel we can add. Laser antenna do not broadcast a signal that other players can see, but instead requires direct line of sight to function. So this laser antenna, if we, we put one of these on Earth, one on our base here, if we have a line of sight, we can actually communicate. Control panels. Doors. Reactor. That we want, we need superconductors for that. And react components, two thousand of them. Wow, small reactor contract block for contract management. Okay, vending machine store block that enables automized, automized, automized trading. I can't say that. Um, so contracts, we can look at that store, we can look at that. That's pretty cool. We should get this up. Kind of feel like we want that. Kind of feel like we want that. Um, everything else we've done. Gravity generator. Creates configurable artificial gravity fields that affect players and items. Ah. Cool, we want to play with that. Catwalks. Passages. Lots of stuff to play with and build now. Bio chamber. Can store players while they're disconnected from a server. Mm, reduced oxygen consumption for players. Interesting. A medical room. Oxygen farm. Hydrophonics farm produces small amounts of oxygen when in contact with sunlight. Use an oxygen tank to score oxygen. Wow, okay, so we can look at that. And then we need an oxygen tank. Merge block. Okay. A lot of stuff here. We've seen most of this. Seen the weapons. Windows. So we just need tanks now. Oxygen tank, there we go. All right, that's pretty much it. Rest of it's all DLC. That's pretty cool. Do the same thing as we did with a solar panel with this. And create ourselves some hydroponics there. Get some oxygen on the go. That would be pretty cool. Gravity components. A lot of stuff that we have to build here which I don't have. Kind of want the steel plate for this. Gravity components. I mean, reactor components, thruster components, superconductor. Explosives.
firework. Tools, weapon, ammo, build planner, which is a battery. Okay. Equipment we've been through. In terms of components. Hmm. What are we missing? Oh, there we go. Gravity components. So that needs silver, gold, cobalt, and iron. Okay, so we need to get that from down on earth. Bring that back up with us. We need a lot of silver and gold. For reactor components, we need gravel. A lot of gravel. Iron and silver. But we need uranium to power it. Prosters, we need platinum. Platinum and gold. Superconductor, we need gold. So these are kind of like end game items. So yeah, not quite ready for those just yet. Let's jump in our ship. And uh, yeah. Good to go. Now we are on recharge at the moment, but that isn't really charging up the battery. That battery's been really strange, it's like bouncing. Which it shouldn't be doing. Guess I can turn that off, but then it's not going to be charging. Hmm. I don't actually know what is taking up. There is the event control and the gyros on there, but everything else is kind of chilling. These batteries are kind of bouncing at the moment, not really charging properly, which is weird. So that is what it is. We'll leave it. We'll leave it there for now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Another couple of hours done. I kind of feel like we've still got a long way to go. We haven't found any... I haven't found any space stations yet. We haven't really interacted with any NPCs just yet. Oh, we still haven't found all of the resources that we need, but we did map out a few. Uh, we've got some automation started today. I feel like the base is in a really good place now. Definitely feel like if we look at the batteries, especially the... Um, these batteries aren't complete, but if we look at the battery on the, on the grid... Type it in there. It it seems like it's doing a decent job. Inputs higher than the output, which is nice. Yeah, these two have been a bit weird. I don't know why they're not charging. Oh, max store power. Oh, so it says they're max stored. So, yeah, there must just be, must be a glitch that we're seeing there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. We'll see you soon.